of run, uh, Starstone Barrels for the new season, season 19 for Great League. And for the first time I'm trying to use a triple shadow team. Let's see how this is going to work. So this is a Roserade lead. This guy is staining with the Roserade with Razor Leaf. Really weird. Okay. So now this guy just bring this Bastidon and I have to stain in because if I bring immediately Machamp this guy probably have a flyer in the back, don't know. Or something strong against the Machamp, so I have to stain in here. So it must done the job. And now it's Machamp. Even if it's flamethrower I can stain. Stone Edge. And this guy is staying in again. <laughs> Low ranks, I guess this is the way, the answer. So now I will throw this cross shop here on the med gym and I'm bringing the Ch Shadow Zapdos. And this is going to be a good game because I can reach two drill packs before med gym can reach another charge move. This is it. So the first one will be shielded and the second one will destroy med gym as you're going to see. Because the Shadow Zapdos is quite strong, but in counterpart is quite squishy as well, so you need shields to protect him. So, good game. This was a really weird player, not sure what this guy was trying to do, but that guy was kinda weak against Hypno as well. Only Bastion was the answer, so I had my champ, so I guess that player had no chance against this team. So, this is a Mountain Leap. This guy is running bubble, okay. And now this guy brings it's crafty and I can tank this move easily. It's a foul play. And okay. I can tank this move as well, so I'm not worried about. Okay. So this is a Humbrin, I I was thinking Another barrel, <laughs> not Scrafty because I played against the Scrafty as well with Shadow Machamp. And my intention with Shadow Machamp against Hamrin was to lower the HP from Machamp to not giving farm to Mantin. And now let's see if this guy decides to shield this Thunder Punch. Decides not to shield and almost KO with the HP almost full as well. So now Mantin is down. And this is Salazzle going to throw the Shadow Ball. And it's good game. So, easy, easy wins at this point. This team is kind of difficult to play because all the three Pokemon are Shadow. And you have to play properly in order to have good results. It's really difficult to play with Triple Shadow. And now this is um, Fair Torn. I guess Hypno can tank this Power Rip. Yeah. I will bring Shadow Zapdos. And this guy decides to stay in. I was petting a switch. Okay. And now it decides to switch. And what is it? Okay. I have to shield this. No, I don't have because that guy reached only 5 with the Mud Bomb. It was a really bad bait. If this guy reached the scout, yes, I would shoot, shoot that scout, but that was only mud bomb. I'm not sure what this guy is trying to do. I'm going to shield this and then throw in another drill pack. Double shield here. And now I'm going to bring Hypno with a low snipe because Hypno is really slow, but this snipe worked here and now the fairy thorn has some energy start which is fine and i can bring safely my champ and i hope this guy don't have anything strong against my champ in the back i'm going to shield this power it will do some massive damage because shadow my champ is quite squishy as well only hypno from this team is a a solid pokemon the other two are quite squishy so you need shields and this was the CMP, so perfect. This guy will throw the hairless on my Shadow Machamp. Shadow Machamp is down. And now Shadow Zapdos can farm down with the fast moves. And I forgot Ferrothorn was still alive. But 
it doesn't matter because I reached the draw back with Shadow Zapdos and it's going to be a good game. So another win with this triple shadow team. In higher ranks probably is really really difficult to play with something like this. You will need some tanky shadow Pokemons because this team is quite squishy. Now this guy is running Salazzle and decides to stay in as well. I don't understand these guys. Okay. So three confusions were enough to kill that thing. And now it's the Scrafty battle. And it could be a foul play, that's why I decided to shield. And now this guy springs Galvantula. And look at the damage this thing will do if this guy decides to let it go. Decides to shield because this guy knows that this is quite dangerous and let's see now. Decides to let it go and almost let that Galvantula. <laughs> so this guy probably is doomed here. So goodbye Galvantula. And I scrapped again and I have Shadow Machamp so this is a good game. I don't even have to shield this foul play. So no worries, it was only a power up punch. Still okay and it's going to be a good game. So at this moment the players are not very experienced, so I have an easy task here. But this team is not easy to play as well. So I try my best. Now it's a Galvantula lead. It's not the best lead, but I can switch. I will stay in. So I could sneak here uh, Confusion, which is great. But this guy probably will sneak a uh, Volt Switch later, so. Because I want to force a shield as well. Nice. And now it's a Scrafty. And uh, this is the paradise for Machamp. I go for the CMP. This guy decides to shield. And I guess for play can kill from that range. It was acid spray. So okay, with that it was a tie. And now I will do some clock here. Before I bring the Pokemon. And it's a Flygon in the back with Mudshot. So that thing is quite spammy, I'm not sure if I can beat it, but let's see. This guy's farmed a lot, probably has two Dragon Claws loaded. But no, just decides uh, to throw the Stone Edge. And I'm going to take advantage from that play, and I'm going to get rid from this Flygon, and get rid from this Galvan, so, so good game. So probably if that I can throw the Dragon Claw. I guess Zapdos would go down with a Dragon Claw, not sure, but I guess the guy could play a little bit better, but probably Dragon Claw. If not, kill Zapdos from that range would be really close, but okay. So, this was my ba first battles for the season 19 with the Triple Shadow team. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time.